Okay guys, just a little uh, side note. Um, I've just taken off the second one. And when you're undoing these screws, the wheels themselves, like I said, I'm really impressed with this board. I have been since I bought it. It's, uh, it's really good. A little bit disappointed that the batteries didn't last as long. But um, as you can see from the, the next video or the same video, maybe I might put it all together. Um, changed out the batteries with some new ones. And um, like I said, that's, that's back to normal and pulling and giving some really good power and distance again. But the screws they use to fit onto the, um, to fit the wheels together. Um, everything else is cool. You know, it's all, it all made well, um, good power, last well. But they seem to always go cheap on the screws. These are like made of like chewing gum or something. They're, uh, they're not very good uh, steel. I'm going to replace them because I've just had a, a, a problem where putting in a decent, make sure you get a really decent fit with your screwdriver and turn them. And even then they put on some um, lock nut or something to keep them in, which isn't a bad thing, I suppose. You know, I mean, I'd, I'd prefer to just to sort of like just check them periodically after each ride or whatever, you know, but um. They put that on and then if you don't get a really, really good lock on this screw, first time it slips, it's knackered. Then you're, you're buggered, really. It's, you, you can't really get it out. So the only thing you can do, and I've just done it with two of them. I managed to undo four of them. And I've got some brand new, decent ends on the screwdrivers uh, to go in. So I'm not using crappy ones, you know, they, they're good. Um, I've drilled them out. So I've used a smaller drill bit. These are four mil uh, screws, what go in. So I started off with a 2.5 and I went straight down the middle of the head and uh, straight down through the screw. And then I put a, a wider one in until in the end it just goes so thin and they literally come out, which is quite good. I was thinking of like uh, going so far and then tapping them, but I haven't needed to. I've, I've managed to, they've managed to come out without damaging the threads, which is very good, you know. Um, but this is a pain. It's just taken me about an hour to do this. So just be aware when you undo these screws, maybe it might be a good idea when you first get the board to do it, because once they've been in there a while, you know, and, and the screws start corroding up, it makes them even easier to, to damage. I looked inside this wheel before, uh, probably about a year ago, um, because I thought I had a problem with it. Uh, in the end, it wasn't. It was just uh, it was something else. I just wanted to check. And I think this one came apart easier because I'd already undone them. I never bothered putting lock nut back on it. Um, afterwards, they've they've stayed in and they've done miles and they, they never came out. They're, they're fine. Like I said, you can you can check them now and again. But what I'm going to do, I thought these were uh, the, the same ones. They're stainless. But um, they're too small for you to see on here, but they're little stainless screws. But they're only three mil ones. I haven't got any four mil, so I'm going to get some cap head uh, Allen key four mil and replace them at some stage with some stainless ones. Um, I, I prefer that rather than a, a, a normal like posi drive end. I prefer an Allen key end. So, um, so yeah, so just be aware, really. Um, I'm going to put this back together again now and put the other bearing in, which you saw on the last video. So, okay, thanks for watching. So, here's another part of this video. I don't know if you can see, but um, let me get in front. I've had to smack the bearing apart, take it apart, and then dremel it off of this shaft because it's actually rusted onto the shaft. So, you know, I mean, it's up to you, but I mean, it might be worth if you've got a new one of these is to strip it down early. Take this bearing off before you start getting water in there and grease this shaft to make sure that the bearing doesn't jam to it. Because, I mean, I literally I've been here about an hour and a half trying to get this bearing off you. It's very hard to get in between here without damaging this board um, with any tools to prise it off. So I've literally, in the end, I've had to cut it off. So now I'm going to sand this rust off of here 
and uh, put the new bearing on. Hopefully I haven't damaged this board in doing so because I've been banging it out with um, with different sorts of wedges down here, you know, screwdrivers and stuff to try and get it out. There's not a big enough gap to get, uh, I mean, there's like a puller tool here, but you can't obviously get this down because it's going to damage this circuit board. So it's been a bit of a nightmare. So just bear this in mind uh, when you're changing this over. You might end up having to do a little bit of engineering to, to remove this because it literally was welded to the rust on the shaft.